Hunting is a very important component of Red Dead Redemption 2. A perfect hunt can yield you unlockable costumes, unique crafting items, make you a bunch of money, and so much more. However, hunting is complicated. It's really, really complicated. There's systems on systems on systems at play here. Obviously, the goal is to land that one clean, fatal hit on the animal you're going after, but there are still so many factors we need to consider. What weapon should I use to hunt the animal? What do these stars mean beside the animal's name? Why do I get a seemingly perfect kill, but not a perfect pelt? Where did all the animals go and how do they come back? These are just a handful of the questions I had when first exploring the hunting system in the game. But there's nothing to fear. Today, we're going to answer all of these questions and simplify the entire hunting process down to its bare essentials. By the end of this video, all confusion should be gone, and you should be grabbing those perfect drops with ease. So to begin, we need to look at four main factors when hunting. Getting a perfect pelt or perfect skin or whatever the drop may be for an animal depends entirely on the weapon you are using, the ammunition you're using, the body part of the animal that you pierce with a bullet or arrow, and the size of the animal. But above all else, Deadeye level 4 is necessary, unless you want to be stressed while hunting. I highly recommend waiting until you unlock Deadeye level 4 before seriously going out there and hunting for perfect pelts, which means finishing the chapter 5 story mission Fleeting Joy. You do not want to find that perfect pelt from a rare animal only to accidentally shoot the wrong body part and downgrade it from perfect to merely good. Deadeye level 4 clearly marks the fatal points on an animal's body in dark red. Having this marker on the screen will make your life much easier. The next thing we need to consider is the condition of the animal you are hunting. Focus on and study the animal you want to hunt. You could do this at a close range, but I recommend doing it from a distance with your binoculars. Beside the animal's name, you should see either 1 star, 2 stars, or 3 stars. This measures the condition of the animal. One means poor, two means good, and three means perfect. Obviously today we are focused on getting those perfect pelts, so any animal that doesn't have three stars beside its name is useless to us. So logically, you're probably asking the question, what if you explore an area and none of the animals have those all important three stars beside their name? Unfortunately, this star rating is completely random, just like the spawns of the actual animals themselves. Luckily, you have two easy options from here. First, you can jump on your horse, leave the area, and come back. The animal should despawn and respawn, and hopefully this time around, you'll find your desired animals with those three stars you're looking for. The second option is to set up a camp, go to sleep, and by the time you wake up, those animals should be back, and hopefully this time around, your desired hunt will appear. So now we have Deadeye level 4, we found our 3 star perfect animal, now comes the kill. There are 5 animal size groups in Red Dead Redemption 2. Small, moderate, medium, large, and massive. Achieving a perfect shot on a specific size of animal requires use of a specific weapon using specialized ammunition. If you want perfect pelts, you cannot use other weapons. Even if you get a perfect, clean headshot, the game will downgrade the animal's condition from perfect to good, so you have to use the weapons I list in this video. Let's begin with small animals. This is a list of every small animal in the game, and you need to hunt them with the bow using the small game arrow. Now, the small game arrow is ammunition that you specifically need to craft yourself. You can't find it in any stores in the game. In order to get them, you need to craft the following ingredients. An arrow, a shotgun shell, and a flight feather. Those first two ingredients are available to buy at any gun store in the game but the flight feather must be collected by hunting birds in the game. Luckily, you don't need to worry about animal conditions or using special weapons when hunting for flight feathers. Just find some birds and go wild. 
shoot a bunch of them out of the sky, and eventually you should collect enough flight feathers to craft some small game arrows. Once you acquire these small game arrows, you're ready to hunt some perfect small animals. To demonstrate, here I am hunting a duck. These guys are pretty easy to find as they're usually near any body of water in the game, but for specific locations of each animal, I'm going to be making separate videos because if I start getting into that now for all 200 plus animals, it would take me hours. So look forward to some of those videos soon. Anyways, you can see me scoping out my prey from afar with the binoculars. I see the three stars beside the animal's name, which means it's time to go hunting. I apply some cover scent lotion, which allows you to get a closer shot without spooking the animal. And this lotion can be purchased at any trapper in the game. Once you're in a comfortable position, activate Deadeye and fire at a red spot. Deadeye is especially helpful here with these small animals since they're small, and often very quick. Remember though, if you're using the right weapon and ammo, the animal doesn't have to be perfectly still to yield a perfect drop. You could be moving on horseback and the animal could be running away, but as long as you hit that red spot with the correct ammo, which in this case is the bow with small game arrows, you will get the perfect drop every time. There it is, the perfect duck carcass. Remember to go up to the animal and pick up your small game arrow again to reuse it. Next up are the moderate sized animals in the game, and the optimal weapon to use for these critters is the Varmint Rifle with the standard 22 ammunition. Indeed, the bow is not always the best option for every sized animal in the game, so if you're looking for moderate animals, the Varmint Rifle is the way to go. Here is a perfect hunt with the Varmint Rifle on a raccoon. Next up are the medium sized animals, and there's only three of them in the game. Your bow with regular arrows or any repeater with regular ammo will yield a perfect shot. Here I am hunting a pig with my carbine repeater. Now let's look at the large animals. Most of the time these guys have large fatal points, so your life should be getting easier as the animals get bigger. The best option for slaying a large animal is by using any rifle with regular ammunition. Here you can see me hunting a big damn buck with my Springfield rifle. Finally, we reach the absolute beasts, the monsters of Red Dead Redemption 2, the massive size animals. While they are huge targets, they're also aggressive as shit. You've probably been mauled already by an alligator, bear, or wolf during your time with the game. So it's important to keep a distance when hunting these guys down. Luckily, your weapon of choice to get a perfect pelt from massive animals is a sniper rifle using regular ammo. Remember, the massive animals are the only weight class that cannot be loaded onto your horse. They can only be skinned. Here, you can see me hunting an alligator with the sniper rifle. So that's about it for today. I think I've simplified the entire hunting process as much as humanly possible. If you follow these instructions and get some solid practice under your belt, you should have no problem becoming a master hunter in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now you'll notice I didn't go into one specific type of animal in this video, the legendary animals. Well, there's a reason for that. Hunting the legendary animals is a completely different ball game compared to the other standard animals in the game. So later this week, look forward to the big one. I will be hunting every legendary animal in the game and guiding you all on the right track when it comes to taking down the most difficult, but also the most valuable monsters in the game. So look forward to that coming soon. If you like this video and want to see more daily Red Dead Redemption 2 guides, tips, easter eggs, and more, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and take care.